Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. So let's take a look at the latest price action today. A little bit of profit taking going on, which is not surprising after the last few days. It is now the moment of truth because normally after the first rally, you know, after such news, which were definitely positive, um, you typically get the moment of truth and the bulls need to prove if they can hold certain support levels to avoid yeah, price basically making new lows. So we are already um, looking at some support levels now. We already looked at some yesterday, so we're going to talk about them now. Overall, um, we can start to look at this uh, bullish setup that we have on the chart or bullish um, wave count, um, which I communicated yesterday to you after the rally and of the um, January low, we can count and that's the first wave count. That's the bullish scenario. Here we can count a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, which is probably still unfolding. We should then get a wave four correction and a wave five to the upside. That could form a larger first wave. And then after these five waves up, the bulls need to hold a higher low in a wave two to prove that we go long term bullish and can really moon to new all term highs. Until then, until we don't have a five wave structure, things aren't terribly clear. So at the moment, as you can see, we only have three waves up, even though it rallied quite a lot price wise. The structure is always important. So for long term clarity, we need um, that wave one, two setup. But at the moment, in the very short term, and we're going to take a look at that one more high is likely in this wave. Then we get the next major decision point when price gets into this support region in a wave four and then should still be able to get one more high as long as we're holding 56.5 cents but i will have to adjust that support area if we go any higher so we're going to look at that in this video i might have to do it now already um this is just the support for the next wave four we're not in the wave four as far as i can see it at the moment yeah so the um importance is really that after these five waves are and it seems to be a rocky road as far as i can tell um, because of what happened before. Yeah, it's a very rocky road, a very choppy price structure, not the most clear chart. And um, yeah, after after this wave four, which could go quite deep, again, this is the support area between 77.8 cents and 56.5. Um, we need to hold a higher low and that would be an ABC structure. But again, I can really only give you a support area for this wave two, as long as or when, when the wave one is complete. So... Um, if you want to be kept up to date, feel free to just subscribe to the channel or check out our channel membership where we're looking at signals for gold members. Bear in mind, from a risk management point of view, you need to be aware that this could also still be an ABC structure where the C wave is the ending diagonal and it could still make another low. But we won't know that until we have made five waves up and we know or we, we, have a, we pay attention to the relevant bullish support region that I'm going to share with you in a wave two. At the moment, let's zoom in. So we say we are now in a third wave rally potentially. We can keep up, um, we can keep that perspective alive as long as price is holding this Fibonacci support area. Okay, so micro support, and I go to the one hour chart. So the idea is that a wave two bottomed here on the 6th of July, based on this count, that we rallied in a third wave of a third wave in yesterday's move up yesterday's pump um, it uh, got rejected at one of the resistance levels i communicated to you one second let's zoom out a bit here the 92 cent level let's go back to the one day chart you'll see that before we go into the micro here 92 cents was one of the relevant resistance areas on the chart that green line here um, already highlighted that yesterday to you as well and so far we got rejected there so we've got a, a pullback but so far it's forming a higher low so let's go back into the one hour chart and it might be forming a little bit of a bullish flag bullish pennant here in the relevant wave four support area so this is typically what you would expect for a wave four support is between 66 cents and 79.9 um, relevant support levels are 71.88 now and yeah 65.99 cents as long as the 50 percent retracement level is holding another wave up could occur in wave five of C of three. As soon as we get this third wave, then we can be looking forward to a pullback in wave four. Now, this wave four, this larger support area is always measured against the high of the previous wave. So 
if the third wave goes any higher, which at the moment would be anticipated, as long as we're holding 65.99 cents, um, we have to adjust that support area. So all we're doing here is at the moment track relevant bullish support. Very important. Okay, so um, and these parameters can, of course, be used for trading. Now, if we get a breakout above 92 cents, which would be, well, actually the breakout point with yesterday's high, and I will adjust this line here and make it white, actually, um, is six, yeah, 95 cents is the relevant breakout point now because that would be a break above yesterday's swing high. Where could we get to if we break above that high? Well, it helps to take a look at previous structural resistances. So we've got $1 and two, roughly the $1 level, important resistance and then up here we've got a cluster of resistance structurally around 130 to 135 there's a resistance area up there and if price can really break above the one dollar level or let's call it one dollar and two then i think it can get fairly quickly all the way up to that 130 range and then above that we get very close to the 2021 high so yeah, momentum is up, but um, the relevant support levels need to hold to keep the momentum alive. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.